Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real pleasure to be back here. Thank you to Andreas Fink for uh, setting the scene, for giving us an understanding of uh, the role of the M2M Alliance and the crucial role it is for events like this, but also in the wider sphere. It's a real pleasure for me to be back here at one of my favorite events. Every year, this event generates more talk and more discussion, more ideas, and uh, I'm delighted to have been asked back by the uh, organizers. So thank you to them, thank you to you, and let me congratulate you. You're probably wondering why you need congratulating, but there is a reason. Your timing is excellent. You are here at a moment in the Internet of Things that is unprecedented. M2M and the Internet of Things has never achieved so much, has never been ready, more ready to do and to deliver. So what we have over the next couple of days is the opportunity to find out about not only the challenges and the obstacles that are in the way, but to meet some of the people that will help you overcome those obstacles in your own individual business. This is your opportunity to network like crazy. And also, as Andreas has pointed out, network to the wider world. Make sure that uh, people know uh, the kind of discussions that we're having over the next couple of days. Discussions about standardization, discussions about ecosystems and partners. I and mean, that's what this is all about getting together and partnering, because nobody can do it all. We'll also be talking about rationalization, about the changes in the market. There's an enormous amount of change happening, and it's only by keeping in touch with what's going on at your colleagues and your competitors that you can stay focused and be alert to the threats that there may be to your business and the opportunities you can pick up. And also, we'll be talking about services. Standardization, it's been talked about for so long. Well, I've got some good news for you. It's actually here in 2016. We have been waiting for years for the arrival of standards from the likes of the Open Mobile Alliance, from 3GPP, the organization behind the mobile phone standards, and from 1M2M, that body that brings together so many different standards organizations and certification bodies from around the world. And the really good news is that 2016 is proving to be the year when these standards are starting to be rolled out to the market. We can all start to use them. Later this morning, we'll be discussing in a panel exactly what that could mean for your business. So don't miss that. We've got an absolutely spectacular panel for that, as we have for security and the industrial internet. But I mentioned earlier that ecosystems and partnerships are exciting. Ecosystem sounds such a dry word. It sounds so boring. But it is actually the glue that makes this industry possible. It brings everybody together. Because if you talk to all the biggest organizations, the IBMs, the Cisco's, the SAP's of this world, you'll find that even they are ready to admit that no way can they do all of this in the Internet of Things and M2M themselves. They need to work with partners. So let's get past the words. Let's look at what it can actually bring us. This glue, this ability to network and make things happen, to enable the services. We talked about rationalization, and if you want to know how fast this industry is changing, just go and have a look at our website, www iot-now.com. There you will see just how fast there are companies merging and acquiring one another 
at a rate that is absolutely bewildering. And every time I think I've got the latest story up, I turn around or my colleagues turn around and we find there's another story to write about. Sinksort has acquired Cogito. CompuCom took on Extensis's IoT business. ScanSource acquired Intellisys. This was all just in August. There was Speedcast with Wins and Verizon bought Fleetmatics. I don't pretend that's an exhaustive list. That's just some of the acquisitions that have happened in this industry just in August. You can see how fast the landscape is changing. So again, being here today is your chance to pick up on what changes may affect your business. So I congratulate you on being here. Your timing is excellent. And finally, services. Nothing says more about this industry than the fact that services and new applications are now rolling out daily. A few years ago, we talked about when this is going to happen or the dribble of services that was happening. It's happening fast and furious now. You have to only look at the media like ours or others. You'll find news of new applications in every single industry that you can think of, from automotive to agriculture, from telematics to health. There are so many areas in which this industry of ours is enabling whole new range of possibilities. So, you've, you're convinced already, you've come along from the most of exciting event in the calendar, and I congratulate you for being here. I look forward to meeting you over the next couple of days, and I'm grateful to our hosts for putting on such a spectacular venue and a really interesting program. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Professor Andreas Meyerfalk, who is Commissioner for Human Resources and Health in the city of Dusseldorf, who will give us a welcome to Dusseldorf. Professor Meyerfalk. <laughs> 